Welcome everybody, it's Mario Man 2100 back again with the first campaign impressions video and we're finally diving into a classic game that I've been meaning to play the campaign of. It's Call of Duty Black Ops 1. So apparently I played the campaign. I don't think I did. But anyway. Wake up. Wake up. Where am I? Where's Reznov? You will answer our questions. Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What's your name? Fuck you! Where were you born? Kiss my ass! <laughs> your name is Alex Mason. You were born in Fairbanks, Alaska. In 1961, you served in a CIA assassination team known as Operation 40. Is that correct? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Where are they going? I don't know anything from? about any numbers. What about the evidence? Do you remember him? Give us what we want, we'll guarantee your safety. Let's start at the beginning. Cuba, 1961, the Bay of Pigs. We know you were there. So yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 is a game that I've played for probably since no. the late end of 2010. all got killed. Around the same time as Halo Reach actually is when I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops. But Black Ops was definitely one of my very, very early multiplayer games that I just played online a hell of a lot. Like, realistically, Modern Warfare 2 started me on Call of Duty, but I think it was a couple of months before Black Ops actually came out, uh, and Black Ops was one of the games that really got me into online multiplayer. So that and Halo Reach, and eventually Modern Warfare what? 3 definitely did as no. well. Well enough, Carlos. You know Bowman, right? Carlos. Mason. What's up, Carlos? So you get what we need? He will be in here. The plantation. My old plantation. Our attack on the airfield should distract them enough to get you inside. So, yeah, so what I'm eventually going to be doing is playing all three campaigns of the Black Ops games in, in anticipation for Black Ops 4, even though that doesn't have a story mode. I was originally going to do this anyway before Black Ops got uh, Black Ops 4 got announced. But since we're getting more and more details on it, like we knew that oh yeah, it was coming. Be cool, boys. Talking to you. Everything is ready. Gear up, boys. Right. No problem. My men are still Occupants leaving their vehicles armed with shotguns. Bowman, Carlos, lay down covering fire. We fight our way through the streets. Mason, I'm me. Let's go. Let's fight through the door. But yeah, like, I, I took a couple of years off of Call of Duty, to be honest. Like, uh, Infinite Warfare, when that came out, I, I didn't play the game. Uh, and I played a little bit of Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3 was the one that I played the most out of the first couple of, of the futuristic setting games that were brought forward to the PS4. And Ghosts, I didn't play too much of, to be honest. Uh, First off, let me see, if, uh, can I put my sensitivity to so, so you know, I used to play on 7 all the time, 
Uh, just for this game, I'm just gonna spin it down a little bit. Like I'm getting like, the flimsiness of this is getting right on. Like I haven't played this game for a while, so it might be just me getting used to the old controls. Okay, that definitely was uh, automated. Oh, jeez, crashed. should be hitting the airfield. Any minute. There's a signal. Now! Look up. This is it! I think I might have actually tried to play this before on the first campaign impressions video or something. Mason, take him out. Perfect, you're all focused on the airfield. Convoy ahead, do not engage. Okay, so the FM Foul is actually a gun that I actually have used on multiplayer before. Uh, Semi-automatic. Sit tight. Then pass. And I used to actually be very, pretty good with with the aim of uh, semi-automatic weapons. Uh, not so much anymore now. Bowman, left flank. Move like, out. To be honest, like semi-automatics, so I'm. I'm not really that good with anymore. It's because I think after like Modern Warfare 3, I just did care. My like Black Ops 2, I played a little bit on. That's about it. Move quickly! This way, up the stairs. Got it. Castro's paranoid. With good reason. We've been trying to get him for three years. Today's the day we succeed. And I love doing that, like looking over a gun, which is automatically fills up my weapon. Stay close. Shotgun, the KS-23. Now, Black Ops was one of the games that I think I actually did prestige in on multiplayer. Uh, I think I prestige at least once, so I think I might have actually done it twice or three times, actually. Uh, but I haven't really gotten anywhere close to prestige since then. Maybe Modern Warfare 3, but uh, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. It's perfectly fair. But yeah, I hear that the stories in these games are really good. I don't know how I will stack to Modern Warfare 2 because I still think that in terms of uh, the campaigns uh, that I've played, 
Portable 52 is the best one. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see because I think I, I, I think uh, Jordan played Modern Warfare 2. Uh, sorry, Black Ops 2 a lot, uh, but especially with the campaign. Like I've seen it in action before. Black Ops 3, not so much. Target should be up ahead. Roger. Move it inside. Get in position. Sit. You ready to make history? Sit. Roger. Grayson, bitch. He uses the Huey shield. Is she sick? Protects him? Yeah. <laughs> Those guys had no chance. Yeah, so did those guys. I'm getting shot a lot, <laughs> and I am sucking. I've been playing the, two, the, the newer Call of Duty games a little bit too long, especially when it comes to the campaigns. Like, I didn't think that Advanced Warfare was that bad in terms of the campaign. I actually thought it was really good. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is still a good time, although it's not as good as Modern Warfare 2. I still think that it's better than Modern Warfare 1's campaign, but that's because I played that one last. Out of all of them, I played that one last in the Modern Warfare Trilogy, so it comes with the territory. Like, if I started with that one first, I probably would have liked it a lot more, but I didn't. Ow. Jesus, how many bombs do you need to throw at me, dude? What the fuck? Shotgun out of here. Of all places. Here they come from the east wall. You're taking a day, you're down the lot. I may not cover your escape. BTR! As for what that means, like, I can't remember what I'm playing. Yeah, so a lot of this, uh, a lot of this area reminds me of the map, uh, the multiplayer map of uh, Favela. God bless you, Carlos. This way into the Like the, the architecture is pretty, pretty similar in structure. But this map is, is this map is nowhere near that. I know that that some of the the campaigns in earlier and later uh, Call of Duty games do uh, do take that. Uh, do take the multiplayer maps and actually do uh, do stuff with those. 
See if I can run through without gunning anybody. I'm fucking coming. I don't have like fucking infinite sprint. Ow! Just watch you look for the bombs and not fucking. You must confirmation. Yeah, this is this is this is turning out alright, I would say. Not you know it's a really definite uh, huge opening, <laughs> we'll say, compared to some of the other games in the in the franchise that I've played so far. Like this is probably one of the bigger openings that I've seen. Except for maybe Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 really put you right in the action. But it, it's a sequel, so you know, even even though I didn't play the, the, the other. Yeah, I'm We always know. Do with him what you wish, General. He's my gift to you, in honor of our new relationship. Just make sure that he suffers. He will know suffering beyond his darkest fears. I have plans for you, American. So oh, he did. did. He's a headbutt him right there. Magovich sure did. That's probably what I would have done. I would have went whack. It was a setup. They knew we were coming. That bastard Dragovich. The Russian. Eh. He was behind everything. Where did Dragovich take you? To Russia. The labor camp. Oh, hellhole called the Cooter. Oh my god. What did they do to you, Mason? What didn't they do? So he was definitely a prisoner. I would say a prisoner of war, but, uh, but I don't think at that, at that time it was only really the Cold War we're what talking about. Uh, talk about 1960s, so. We're talking around Korea? Can't exactly remember off the top of my head. Around Vietnam, you're uh, pretty close to. Just to survive. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Call of Duty's done a, a, a Vietnam War game before yet. Almost a year. They might have. I can't remember. What do they do? I've given up hope of ever getting out. But Victor Reznor found a way. Mason, 
Every journey begins with a single step. This is step one! Security! No! We take Bokuta! What is step two? Ascent from the darkness! Three! Glad you're friends, okay? What's up, man? Good. <laughs> this is scary, just like, oh fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're over crying in USSR camp. Not surprising. You sure can trust this American? With my life. He and us are not so different. We are all soldiers without an army, betrayed, forgotten, abandoned. In Fakulta, we are all brothers. Sounds a little bit like Makarov from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare 1, which is stress as well. A little bit. <laughs> And whack. <laughs> I was gonna take him out myself, but Sergei just did it for me and it was like, yeah. Rest of you men must know this is suicide. Victory cannot be achieved without sacrifice, Mason. With Russians, not this better than anyone. Prepare yourself, men! Yeah, I think I have actually played this before. Uh, this was a while ago now, I think it was probably like a couple years back. I think before Black Ops 3, I think actually was uh, announced. I decided I wanted to go back, or at least it was around the time where I got thing as protection because I was getting more fucking bullets. I think this is the one thing that I hated about this mission was that I think because I have I believe I've played this before, I've heard this music and stuff, is that you have to use the minecart a lot and you can't really deviate too much from it because otherwise you're going to get shot to shit. Some planning, maybe. 
Christ. We will not pause. We will not falter. We will be free. I'm going to say we will not fail. But that's a Kennedy speech. That's part of the Kennedy speech, so I don't think they would want to reciprocate that, especially with someone like. Sergey! Break open the arms lockers! Mason! Grab the tower and support the uprising in the south! So in the background, you can tell like this is radiation, like with the excavators. Guessing shooting for that. Yep. So, yeah, so in the background, this map is, is radiation. Shotgun, I'm in my element. Oh, so there goes one of my prisoners. Especially when I'm close range, like I used to play shotguns a lot online. Used to be that guy. Yeah. Like, this was more uh, Black Ops 2 onwards. Like, I played assault rifles and semi automatic weapons, but. Shotguns were definitely a, a big third weapon that I could use. Yeah, it's really weird, talking about Black Ops 4, it's really weird that shotguns are now secondary weapon. Like, I understand, like, we really only had, like, two secondary weapons before that, and that was pistols and special weapons like crossbows and, uh, and uh, ballistic knives and that sort of thing. Uh, but the fact that, that shotguns are now a secondary rather than a primary weapon, is a bit odd, and I hear that the shotgun that they used in the demo of that, when they had the playtest of that, the initial uh, playtest of the, the launch of that, the shotguns actually weren't that great, from what I hear. So that's ultimately that was that's something that really sucks. Uh, is that shotguns seem to be nerfed only because they're secondary weapons? They're regenerating health. We are not actually going to have regenerating health at all in this game. Uh, in Black Ops 4, I should say. Like, fuck. But that's something that I've been so used to. And right into the radiation tower. <laughs> Yeah. 
I didn't play this far open. I think this might have stressed me out too much. Initially when playing it, but I didn't play too far because I'm like, wait, I should do a first impression video on this. The first campaign impression video on this. Oh, Sergei. No, Sergei, fuck you. Get the fuck out. Now, if I was in a normal war setting, I would have been shot dead. And I shot that guy, but apparently not. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that on the chin, apparently. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Three shots on that guy. I shot that guy and he didn't die. What the fuck? It's a shotgun. Like, you're right in It's like, oh my god. Speaking about the nerfs and Black Ops 4, it's caused my shotgun to be absolutely shit. I mentioned it once. And my whole shotgun arsenal goes to shit. It's usually not what happens, but anyway. Of course I was killed by a big grenade, and I had the objective complete. Fucking dumbass I was. was at the next checkpoint.
Minigun, Death Machine. Uh, something that I have actually played with before. And I died with it. Fucking fuck. I'm just gonna say, don't shut the door on me now. Don't know, Reznor. Shoot the wrong guy. Seen weapon and see it shooting at me. Not directly, but we're pretty close. So you guys backing me up too, or what's, what's, what's the deal there? This is going to be a long video, I can tell. Well, I think I'm already looking at the clock and it's already like over 35 minutes. Fuck off with your RPGs. Still going, fuck me. Uh, so I'm actually going to end the video there. What do I think? I think this is good. I, ne I never got this far, so I was initially playing it a couple of years back, so I haven't got that far, but I haven't got to this part. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. It's really good. Uh, going to see where it takes me, but we'll see. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been My Man 2100. You guys have a great day and night, and of course, take care.